Um, I thought I'd start off with um, where, I should, where I should finish, which is basically talk a little bit, about, summarize a little bit about ADD, which is basically, it's an organic version of Google Wave. So the idea is you've got lots of different things going on. You've got all these different kind of tracks of thoughts going on. You go back and you talk about through stuff. The other thing also is what really is ADD? It's not a mental disorder. I'm allowed to use sharp scissors. It's not ADHD. It's not going to be hyperactive. I'm not going to be screaming in the supermarket. It's kind of like it's kind of like it's just this kind of like disordered mentality. Best thing is no one really knows what it is, but it does exist. These are some quotes I pulled out. There's some kind of nice stuff. The one about the daydream. It's a Stephen Wright quote. It's very good because it talks very much about one idea becoming many. So no matter what you do, you are basically you're daydreaming and you're still your mind is wandering. It's fantastic. Fragmented part. This is very much the idea that you'll basically have constant con uh, thoughts going through. Necessarily, you might be doing one thing, but really you're doing four things at once. Maybe not concurrently, but one after the other rapidly. And it's, this becomes this kind of swirling kind of distraction circle. My favorite theory, though, with ADD is that really that it's not a new thing. It's been around for a long time. So the ape in 2001 that realizes the bone is a weapon is um, more likely to have ADD than any of the dead apes around it. Nonlinear thought. So like if someone asks you the question 2 plus 2, you may think 4, you may think 22. I think of George Orwell's 1984 where the first edition had a 5 in it and then after that the 5 fell out of the hot metal and basically after that the book's kind of whole ending changed until about 1996. One of the blessings, in, one of the blessings for um, ADD is very much that you have a high IQ and then uh, and you're creative. It's a classic ADD traits of being high IQ, creative, and also you're inventive. It's very much this kind of idea frenzy. You're constantly thinking of different ideas. The other thing with ADD is that silence is not golden. Um, working with distractions is far more useful than working in a silent room. Basically, you look for distractions. It's not a case of being distracted. You're just constantly looking for distractions. It's a, it's a kind of unusual thing. And I call this the distraction circle. So the idea is that you're looking for these kind of like ports in your kind of information around you to fill up with stuff. So the idea is very much is to have lots of different things going at once and that way then you can get on with what you're doing, which is my groovy green line there. Okay, so um, again one of these things that helps me fill up some of my kind of attention circle kind of problems is um, Tumblr. I love it. So basically my favorite thing is the 70s, so I have a Tumblr called Fuck Your 70s. Um, I love goats, I've got goat goodness and then my own one that I collect everything together <laughs> is aficionados of the nod. I got more than that, don't worry. Again, back on the idea frenzy. It's basically, this is kind of a good and a bad side of it all. Lots of things is you have constantly, great, great for brainstorming, um, billions of ideas. Problem is, of course, you have too many ideas and basically no matter how many great ideas you have, you're still thinking of the next one. The curses of ADD basically are that you do have lots of distractions. You, if you're not careful, you can just keep getting constantly and constantly distracted. And the other thing, of course, is you do have dark days where you are depressed. And that depression can then lead on to things like incompletions, which is the classic ADD thing, and it can become quite problematic. The creative process, the way that I work is I use pen and paper a lot, purely because it involves more of my motor skills. I like to use my hands. And also then I, and for the perfect environment is for me to have radio going, the TV with the sound down. I'll be working with pen and paper and have the computer in front of me doing stuff as well. Um, but the thing is, like, you think very, very, very quickly when you have ADD. In fact, if you take speed, you actually slow down. And one of the things is, <laughs> and one of the things is that if you, uh, um, that is that you can actually see your own thoughts going through, so you actually can understand how you understand. And one of the hilarious things I get is whenever we talk to students or have students come into my store, they ask me, "What's your inspiration?" And that's hilarious for me. It's like anything, because like one thing is like four million. So I usually end up just saying, "Clouds." Wet pavement, everything in between. <laughs> of course, with ADD, it can get bad, and basically you, create, you think, I'm gonna create my to-do list, and if it's a bad day, that one list will then become 20 different lists. You then go into this mode of, oh my God, I got fuck loads to do, and this then you turns you into this kind of, what seems to be procrastination, but in fact, it's just this panic, and like, what the fuck do I do first? Um, again, back in my creative process, as you pray to my presentations very much in the way in which I think, um, it can be a little OCD. You do things over and over and over again, hence the repetition. Basically, I will work on three different ideas at once. It's kind of, kind of crazy. And what I did for my presentation is, I went, what I need to do, I went around my shop, took a whole bunch of photos, and then wrote down a whole bunch of notes, put up my kind of bits of text and headings, and then actually wrote my speech. So I kind of did it back to front, which is kind of classic for me, really. Um, and again, with ADD, it's very much a case of being a fast learner and a slow learner. 
So basically, really complicated ideas. I can work, kind of work them out really fast. The simplest, simplest things take you days to work out. I'm just going, what did I do wrong? I can't work it out. It's crazy. And then finally, I should finish where I started, um, which is who I am. Basically, according to the New York Magazine, I'm some guy in Australia who talks to Jimmy Fallon. I'm a fish and HH on Twitter. I'm a fucking excellent swearer on Cursebird. I'm 4,533rd in the world. I'm an awesome goat fan, and I'm the wacky guy who came up with shitbox.